Today we're doing pork, pork, pork roast. It's gonna be delicious. The crew's been begging me to do it, so I'm doing it again. Last time I did it and I fed them, but now they want me to make it again because they want me to do it for the show. Okay, I'm doing yeah, my tea style pork roast. It's really good. So the first thing everybody I need you to know is that you need a good roasting pan. Either this old or go buy one. Or find one at a thrift store or a yard sale. Those are the best ones. Quick tip there. Now my seasoning is basically Italian seasoning, salt and pepper and basil. And minted garlic. And what I used for oil is I think the best thing to do. If you fried some food, keep a little bit of it and keep it for your roasted pork, okay? So, now what we're going to do is season this. Get it nice and tenderized because it's been sitting here for about maybe three hours, which is okay because it needs to be really room temperature. So, could be wrong, could have been sitting there for like an hour and a half, but sometimes I over <laughs> So. Hey, I could have said 24 hours, but it's been sitting out here for an hour. But, pork rolls. So, make sure you always have on gloves. Once again, lift your sleeves up, guys. Even if you wash your hands and wearing gloves, take your knife and just start stabbing it. Make some holes in it. I already pre-stabbed it, but I wanted to stab it again because I wanted you to see something. Because you should always make sure you check the date on your pork roast and see when it came into the store or go to your butcher and see where and how long this has been sitting. So my answer to that is that can you see this? Look at that. I stabbed it and it's nice and light. So you know that's a fresh piece of meat. Okay, it hasn't been frozen that long. On the date of this meat from the from, from the butcher, he said it's only uh, about five days off. So I believe that because of how the blood is oozing out of it. So after you do that, please put your knife away, because I'm clumsy. And then take your oil and open up your pan with that finger and just put a little in there, just a little. And then just stir it around just like that. And don't worry about that you already touch the pork, which you didn't, because this was only the pork touching, because this is going to go into the heat, and that's going to kill all the germs in So, just my opinion, could be wrong, but it's going to be at 375 degrees for at least five hours, because I like to cook it slow and long, like I like, oh, okay, you know, but, okay. <laughs> Going back to the pork roast. All right, so we're going to take our oil that we have left over from our fried chicken or whatever you fry, and you're going to get all in there, squeeze it in there, nice, rub it nice and easy. But I forgot to tell you one thing: please wash your meat thoroughly. Even if you wash your meat and you start stabbing the meat to make holes and to make it nice and soft and marinated. If it's fresh meat, it's not gonna harm it. It's still gonna have the blood with inside of it. It's just that you're gonna wash your meat very thoroughly. So now that you wash your meat very thoroughly, you're gonna take your garlic and you're going to shove it in places where it should belong. And, and if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, this one's not for you. Wrong again. If you're serving people that eat meat or eat pork or eat, eat chicken, this is a helpful hint to how to cook the meat while you cook your food on the other side for yourself, but you're cooking for your company that eats meat. Because sometimes you have to remember, everyone doesn't eat meat. So you have to cook what you enjoy for yourself and cook stuff for other people. Because if you notice, I always tell you how to make things 
the vegan way when I'm doing vegetables with some sort of meat or some smoked turkey or something smoked. I tell you how to do it very easily and it comes out the same way and tastes the same too. So now that you got the garlic in there, I, I try to get it everywhere. Into the meat, into the fat, into the skin. And then what I start doing, I start shaking my seasoning. Because I want it on there heavy. I don't care what it looks like. I'm going to turn it. Try not to lay it down so it gets on the board. That's where all the flavor is at. So I'm going to do that. And try to get some on the skin just a little. There we go. That's done just like that. See, now that meat is nice and seasoned. Okay, it's a good piece of pork roast. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift my glove off, throw it into the sink, and I'm going to take my pot, and I'm going to lift the pork roast, and I'm going to turn it where the fat is up, and the meat is down. Because I want that to get nice and crispy. Most people like to put this on to the roaster so it sticks and gets nice. No, trust me, if you leave it this way, this will cook so evenly with the meat and all the flavors will run down. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Woo, juiciness. But, so now you do that. And after you did all that, you just take your hand and you rub it around the pot because you already have oil on it because pork is very oily it, it will make its own grease so that's why I just put a little at the bottom then you just top it you take that glove off throw it into the sink your oven is at 375 it is 3 o'clock in the afternoon I will take this out about 5 o'clock and there's no opening and you know Braising it, you know, glazing it. Just leave it alone. But you can check on it like within an hour and then the next two hours to see how brown you want it and how the skin is cooking. So let's get it in there. I'm gonna open that up and put it into the middle section. Just like that, push it in. And I'm going to clean up and I'll see you in about TV time of five hours. <laughs> and your time to be like that. My time I'll be sitting here going, I gotta clean, gotta walk the dog, but I can make myself a drink. I'll see you when I'll get back in TV five hours. <laughs> All right guys, I'll see you soon. Be right back. Hi guys, and I'm back doing Monty style, doing that roasted pork and five hours. Nah, that's a little long. It was about two and a half hours, which was great. So I'm gonna pull it out now. All right, let's see what that sucker looks like. I'm so hungry. I just want a piece of the meat. That's all I want. It smells so good. I smell like hmm, hmm, meat. <laughs> let's see how that's doing. Alrighty, let's get that top off. Uh, we have a cooling pad right here. Look at that guys, that just looks incredible. Can you see that? That meat looks really, 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 really good. I turned around so you can see what, what I mean about roasting the skin. Look at that. I mean, I can't ask for anything better. And that's why I say do not put the skin down because you're roasting and you want the meat to get like gravy and juicing and tender from the fat that's going to juice down and drip down on the piece of meat. So let's see what a good job I did, okay? Look at that. It doesn't even stick. Let's, 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 get, let's get it out of there. 
All right. Mm. That looks good. I'm a little jealous. That's not fair at all. Let's move this pot so we have some room. Let's slice a piece. Ooh, think I dropped a piece of meat. Oh my god, oh, look at that. Tender. Did you see that? Just tender. I'll do it again. Slices right off. Look at that. Oh wow, I'm just jealous. Oh, let's get a little piece down here. Look at that, it's so tender. That is unbelievable. do anything else. That's nice. Can you come closer and take a look at the meat and see how nice and tender it is? Like I don't even have to like force it to cut. Nice and juicy inside. It's ready. Look at that. I am so jealous of this piece of meat. There's no force in it. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's all I gotta do is make the gravy now. Oh, 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 you hear that skin? Some people love that. Oh, I just want to get the meat. Look at it, the skin's falling right off the bone. Look at that. All right, that's really good. So guys, so I'm going to turn it around so you can see what the meat looks like. Come close to get a closer look at that. That looks good. Look at all the seasoning. I'll give you a little honey. Look at that. That end piece right there looks really nice. All right, guys, look at that. I'm going to steal a little piece. Look at that. That looks really good. Okay. I'm going to try some. Here we go. Ha ha ha. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. I need a glass of white wine with this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mmm. 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 This is going down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, when you're a foodie, you just don't know what's good. Yeah, you do, because you need to, you know, break away sometimes. But hey now, smile now, this is Monty's doing taste, doing roasted pork, just for you. It was easy and simple, don't make things difficult. Enjoy your food, don't let people tell you what you shouldn't eat. Only your doctor should say, back up a little, small portions. But if you're doing okay, enjoy your food, guys. This is Monty's. I'm gonna say I'm out of here because I'm gonna have some roast pork. I'll see you later. My team style. Bye. This is Taste.